Happy Christmas! Happy Christmas! Happy Christmas! It is Wednesday. <laughs> it is. It is Wednesday, and we are nearly on top of this all. Yes. <laughs> so we've nearly up. It's over fourteen hundred lots. Oh wow, wow we. And you were going to have a quiet Christmas. And I was going to have a quiet Christmas. Mm-hmm. But that's not happening. Nope. Yesterday we talked about uh, Kaden Heads. There is actually loads more Kaden Heads. I meant to do them. I was still photographing yesterday and there was still more there. So anybody who's looking at the Kaden Heads, there's lots there. So you can find them all in the Scotch section uh, or you can type in Kaden Heads into the section and it'll find them all for you. Today, ladies and gentlewomen, we're going to talk about my favourite. And mine. And yours, yes. Actually, you do you like And yours, Jade, yes. Right, okay. You're all bloody alcoholics. Stop drinking whiskey. Uh, go for the cheap stuff, please. <laughs> um, you'd like the port on, don't you? Yeah, yeah, you really do like that. That's really proper one. Um, I've I've had a funny opinion on Dunville's. Um, I don't think Dunville's gets the secondary market prices that it deserves on so many levels. Mm. So on on the levels that most of the bottlings when when the bottles come out when the Dunville's uh, special casts come out. They're usually sold out in minutes. I mean, I know Jarlett has yeah. literally blinked and, and they've been sold out. Uh, it has caused them a few uh, software malfunctions. Cheers. We have had many a conversation about so that. We, we both lived that pain. life. We've lived, we feel his pain. Um, and drink-wise, they're phenomenal. I mean, phenomenal. I mean, anybody who drinks a Dunville's... Or oh, um, get the Muppets now. Phenomenal. Da, 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 da. Phenomenal. Dun, 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 dun. That's all I can think phenomenal. of now is the puppets. Right, anyhow. Um, <coughs> but they are. They're phenomenal drinking whiskey. And I mean, to me, a wise man, I won't say who it was because he's not all that wise, once said to me that true collectible whiskey is very good drinking whiskey. Because you people need to be drinking the stuff. And the yeah. more people that drink the stuff, the rarer the bottles that are left become and there in time become more collectible exactly whereas <coughs> a certain brand that says real not many people are drinking them lately because people are collecting them so in 10 years time they're, they're still going to be 15,000 exactly. 2020s because nobody's drinking them right, anyways. <laughs> so drink your whiskey <laughs> drink your whiskey um, back to Dunville's yeah. so Dunville's um, I think most people know the story of what Dunville's is the Ecklenville Distillery up in um, the peninsula above, they bought the brand. Northern they, Ireland. huh? Northern Ireland. Northern Ireland. They bought the brand and made a commitment. They all sat with each other, and I, I, I love that they did this at the start. Whether it's true or not, they, they do say it, and, and I no reason to doubt Charlotte. Why would he lie to me? I know. Don't be lying to me, Charlotte, because he's taller than me. So I have to point <laughs> it up. You need to step up. Everybody's out. taller than me, anyhow. Maybe <laughs> once. Um that they said that whatever they do with the brand that they leave it in a better place when their time is gone yes and I, I think and I, I think they have done that and I think to even stand over them now they've done that um, so stop talking waffling and talk about the bottles yes. so the 10s and the 12s a lot of people would know them so you've got the 10px and the 12px uh, people love them they're just the general releases uh, great drinking whiskey. This entire top shelf is being sold as one entire lot. So I think there's 16 bottles in it in total. 15. No, 16. There's generally 16. I know somebody's dys- dyslexic and can't count. Was that you, Jade? No, we're not blaming you for that. Uh, there generally is 16. So four, 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 and four. Four fours is... A Jeep. <laughs> um, <laughs> Dunville's, uh, so the, the two come out. And then the, the 12 PX cask strengths come out. And they are phenomenal. 1703 is probably one of my favourites. I do like that. It is you at 58.2%. Wow, wow, wee, wow. Uh, they did have the two releases. That one was uh, 44. Oh, here they are here. 1196, 44, 48 and 55. They then have age stock as in the 18 year old and the 20 year old as single casks they are bot number 61 most of their single casks is uh, in around the 200 bottles there's one 290 bottles uh, for 1717 again 
the price of them on the secondary market really doesn't reflect how people whiskey people hold them I mean mm. Laurie and, 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 and a lot of other people that know Omar and all these guys who know the whiskey um, love drinking Dunville's oh, yeah. it is at a really slightly higher price point but I mean on the secondary market most of the time you're buying it not much above the, the, yeah. the retail sometimes you're actually getting it below um, the Lord Mayor of Killarney he brought out one. Uh, obviously, it was a special edition. He couldn't do what everybody else was doing. He wanted a 14-year-old one. So for what the Lord Mayor wants, the Lord, the Lord Mayor, Mayor gets. gets. Uh, he brought out a 14-year-old one. Belfast Whiskey Week done a, a 12-year-old a PX sherry cask finish. Um, the Palace Bar, our friend Willie in the Palace, was the first one with the green bottle, the green tube. I think they're gorgeous. I really do love the green bottles. Um, they just stand out just that wee bit more against the uh, the red. But they're um, a very complimentary colour. They are a very complimentary colour. If you had them on show when you had them We in, do have them on I show. I know, but what Anybody who's been in my office has seen a set similar to this. Uh, I was going to say, has seen this set. Haven't seen that set. My set's still above and is staying there. Yeah. Um, they're phenomenal. They're gorgeous. And a gorgeous presentation. And again, uh, Willie with a 20-year-old one. And then the VR Reserve was one that was done for High Spirits, uh, 18 year old, cask 989. And the, there's two more releases on that there's the Celtic Whiskey one, mm -hmm. and there's the James Fox one. The James Fox one, according to those in the know, it is probably one of the best casts oh, that they've done. Fantastic. It is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. A couple of other wee ones. We have the Dunville's 1808. A uh, little trade note to many people out there. Dunville's 1808 contains some Ecklenville distillate. So a lot of it is sourced, but there is some Ecklenville distillate in that. And everybody's talking about when is Ecklenville going to bring out their own bottles and when are they, they going to have them out. And it's not going to be... They'll do it when they're ready. And that's everything that they've done to date has been about quality, but doing it right. Yeah. And it's not going to be until then. Uh, two other ones that I wanted to mention is this baby. JD, look at that. Get in on that. That is the Dunville's uh, Port Mordant cask. They are very, very rare. That's bottle number 228 or 229. Uh, gorgeous presentation. I mean, the mirror. Look at that. Isn't yeah, no. that just phenomenal? I mean, it's gorgeous. Stop saying the phenomenal. You keep saying phenomenal. I know, because it is. I know. And then Sorry. there's a sample of the actual Port Mordant in that, the, the rum in that. That's about two grand a bottle. Not that miniature bottle, but the full-size bottle is about two grand a bottle. Uh, gorgeous presentation. I mean, in years to come. And then there was a book. A book? A book. A book that the uh, Charlotte sister actually researched uh, and done all the work for. And it is just phenomenal. Again, phenomenal. Full of pictures. Full of pictures. Read. Yes, exactly. It's, just, it's not too difficult well, for Andrew to read. you can't help but say that word. It is phenomenal. Exactly. Dunville's is phenomenal whiskey. Phenomenal! On the Dunvilles, so here is a half bottle of the old original Dunvilles. Uh, so this was the 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 distillery from Belfast itself, um, Dunvilles and Co Limited Belfast. Um, half bottle. It's got um, parafilm around the top of it just because old bottles do need that bit of protection. protection. And then, just to finish off, Dunvilles and Ecklenville. Is the old Comer that's there. Um, oh, that's really nice. That is really nice. So the first release of these had about 70 bottles. Um, the lads brought it out just to put the, the brand back in the market. Um, and it is gorgeous. It was a big I hit. Have, like. It was a massive hit. Anybody who got it, the, the 70 bottles, drank them. I think you're maybe on number three. I'm maybe probably on number, number three. Uh, yes. yeah. yeah. Uh, I do like uh, the old Comer. It is great 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 whiskey for its age most of it's about five year old stock yeah. um, finished in port cast it is just absolutely and I am a sucker for the old port cast you finish you are a sucker for the old port cast finish so I think that is have I ranted and raved enough about Dunville's I mean I really do believe it doesn't get the secondary market love that it deserves because it is such a, a, a huge whiskey and I mean every whiskey that you'll drink out of it is just 
perfect. I mean, oh, it is, yeah. Jarlett describes it as, as lip smacking, and it really is the yeah, really yeah. big, bold flavours. And it's, all it, the it, sherry it, bombs it stays are just. With you and it, it really does, yeah. Like, it stays, and you have. Even the whiff of a glass, the, the, the James yeah. Fox, I mean, it, after an hour, an, an empty glass, no, it doesn't stay empty for too long in my house, <laughs> but after an hour, the smell of the glass is just. just phenomenal. Phenomenal. The whole. Eckleville, Dunville is phenomenal. Phenomenal. So well done uh, to Graham, Jarlett. I don't think Jarlett does a whole heap up there. I'm sort of goes around a bit. Swans Shane around. swans around. Yeah, makes a few executive decisions. Um, all right, Kiza. All right, Kiza. <laughs> all right, Kiza. Sorry. Uh, that's it. Yeah. We done. We're nearly Christmas. We're nearly Christmas. Yeah. I can't wait. I can't wait either. I'll be sitting at home. Don't anybody be ringing me on Christmas Day. I'm telling you. No. Yeah, we hey. shouldn't have been sent away. We, yeah. No. Um, we shall talk to you all tomorrow and then we're getting closer the final countdown we go live tomorrow at 5pm 5 5 5. and we have our charities so and we have a charity we we're going to be discussing them exactly alright talk to you I think we've waffled enough Merry Christmas bye bye